Hi class, in this video I want to show you how to pull color from your designs to use in your MailChimp email newsletter. As you've probably noticed when using MailChimp, it's actually really hard to choose colors. Um, I've put together an example email newsletter for um, an organization that uh, is called Paleo Lab. It's actually I volunteer in a paleo lab that preps dinosaur fossils and they don't have their own brand separate from the museum they work in so I went ahead and made them their own brand and then I made a little email newsletter to go along with their brand so you can see in their logo here there's this blue there's this orange but I just can't seem to get it to match here in MailChimp if I click on my button and I go to edit um, it's just very difficult to find the same color um, there's some stuff that's close, but I just can't really get the color I need in there. So I want to show you how to pull color from images in order to use them in MailChimp. So what I'm going to do is, because we're learning InDesign in this class, I'm going to go ahead and use InDesign to do this. You can also use Photoshop, and there's some tools online that you can use as well, but since you all know InDesign, I'm going to go ahead and use InDesign and show you how to find colors here in InDesign. Okay, so I have a document open in InDesign, and if you've already got a print newsletter, you should probably just open your print newsletter and pull color from there, but since I don't have a print version of this email newsletter, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place the logo and pull color from that picture. So I need to find my logo. and I'm going to place it and you'll see that in your toolbar here on the left there's an eyedropper tool if I click the eyedropper I can click on this orange and my fill color now becomes this orange if I double click this fill color you'll see that I have some information about the color here I have RGB values CMYK values um, and lab LAB values, which you really never use. So I can see my RGB values, 237, 176, 51. I'm gonna come into my MailChimp and I'm gonna type those in. You see that you can type them in right here. So I'm gonna move this so I can see the RGB values. So 237, 176, and 51. Okay, so now I have that exact orange that I want to use. But you'll see I have a little short code here. This is called a hex code, hex for six, six digit code for this color. So to make it easier to apply this orange across my design, I'm gonna copy this. Okay, I'm gonna save and close, and you'll see my button now matches my logo. So I have some other areas of orange that I want to change. So I'm gonna highlight from the blog, and now I'm going to click more colors, and I'm going to paste in my hex code and hit OK and now it's the color orange that I wanted. So I can go through and I can change all of these to the same color of orange that my logo uses and I'll have a lot more brand consistency when I do this. Keep in mind that for your final in this class you have to present all of your designs and explain how you're using brand consistency in the visuals. So you want to have the same colors here. You don't want to have to write in that document, oh, I forgot to use the same colors. Yes, I used orange, but they weren't the same kind of orange. It's really important when dealing with brands that you use the same colors across your designs and not colors that are close enough. Okay, so I've got all my orange in there. There we go. And now I can do the same with the blue. I can come into my in design document and I can click on the blue that I want and then I can find the RGB values and I can use that in my email newsletter now as well. Um, I'm not going to do that because I think you guys see how you can use color here in MailChimp. 